Sneaky top 10? Okay, okay, okay. Sneaky top 10. Sneaky top 10. You win, you win. One of the longest tenured players in North America and the resident meme lord, Sneaky was consistently a top 380 carry in NA over his entire career and almost always showed up on the international stage. Here are the top 10 plays of Sneaky's career. 2014 is when Sneaky really started transitioning into the featured carry on Cloud9, and that was clear versus the Unicorns of Love in the IEM San Jose Grand Finals. Now would be the time Unicorns of Love really wants to fight because they've just lost so much, they're trying to get something back. Trying to get onto balls, there is the knockoff from the ultimate of Hillisang. Vizzy Chachi is in the middle as well, but the damage onto him is massive. Sneaky will get the first Sneaky. one, Kiki is low. He was hooked in there by Lemon Nation, and that means oh. a two for two right now oh. at least. But oh. Sneaky still alive, oh. will blast that Heads power up. of evil, and will probably get Hillisang oh. as well. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I actually didn't know he got a Penta. With no jungler around and no smite available, the absolute apex of objective control is obviously, obviously, a Lucian W. But at the same time, they have this massive backline now. Apollo and Keen pumping out damage through the entire fight. Ray picks his moment, jumps in, goes through the assassination. So much pressure put on Cloud9. They lose to GA. Oh my god! He stole, he he stole the Elder Dragon! Sneaky! Giga Chat. What was that? Here we have it once again. He has vision. They don't actually clear out this ward. Shoots the W. Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh wow. my god. You know, no one in Modern League would allow that ward to stay alive. Nobody. That is totally ridiculous mistake. In an absolute bloodbath versus curse, nine players fell victim to the gray screen, but thanks to some fancy feats, Sneaky was the last void puppy standing. You know how strong Cloud9 is in proper 5v5s. This is the fight! Locked in, the Agni's embrace to come down from Dominate. Cloud9 has to funnel in here. Can they get to Cop? Cop has a free chance to shoot everybody! What an amazing rocket! A four-member attack! And Cop's still on the outside, getting good damage down. Boss is about to be the next one to go down. The flashes are getting out. Great shields, great attacks. Cop does get a reset there. Sneaky is very healthy. One shot can kill a few. Cop, oh, no. oh my god, oh, no. one shot can kill a few! That's what he needed, and here it comes. Sneaky's gonna turn it around, and he does. Whoa. One kill from Sneaky. Cop inting. <laughs> Just as Cloud9 looked to be losing a team fight against Envy, Sneaky turned on his machine gun Ash cosplay and cleaned up the entire squad. Arrow is back up from cooldown, so maybe we'll see C9 go for the play once again. Looking for the opening, actually, Seraph. Dude, I, I sorry, sorry. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to pause that much. But just like looking at these rosters, Impact, Medios, Jensen, Sneaky, and Buddy Fufu, it's like it's just funny, man. It's it's just fun. These, it's I don't know. It makes me a little nostalgic, but also at the same time, I feel like nostalgia aside, the rosters were a little more entertaining. You know, ah, uh, no, I shouldn't say that. Actually, I, I'm not really sure what it is. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. Going what it is. in on a Medios, a bit isolated, jumps over on the lantern. Paco goes in on an impact, can't quite fight it. Now comes Jensen. the assassination attempt, and Jensen feared up, flashing away, pops a bit of damage. Then the Zonias comes out, and now Seraph, Guardian Angel pop, gonna revive Brummel D across the back line. Do they have the damage? Medios repels into the air, impact left alone. Sneaky kill, kill them all. Zipper. Sneaky make that too, he's keeping it Sneaky has, alive. Sneaky has pulled the for Sneaky, the Ooh. Pentacle to save the game. Huge lead for Cloud9. One of the no many one really talks about his law career before Fortnite. C9 pulled off in 2015 started with Sneaky single-handedly taking over a team fight on Vayne in Game 3 versus Team Impulse. But they don't! They Whoa. just have Incarnation go solo the AD carry here. Gets out the Shen ultimate, then gets taunted! Gets taunted, but there's the jump into the side. Whip buys a lot of time, and Gate gets jumped on by Sneaky the same. Now Elimination tried to run away very low on health. Zeke's Harbinger is on, and that's a couple of kills picked up with the two Sneaky for one. Sneaky Vayne? The next is one. In it. That's a huge fight! A quad Sneaky, Sneaky Vayne? Sneaky through! Holy cow, Cloud9! This play, you might as well have the entire VOD from game one of Samsung Blue and Cloud9 in the World Quarterfinals because Sneaky had a near perfect performance 
as demonstrated by his clean quadra kill on Lucian. It is high this Dude, what is going on with their bot lane? Their the bot lane is one and eleven. Death ten hard. Keeping around. Heart. Oh, 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 he's separated. He's in trouble. Gets oh his the stun. Heart Dodge is, is out of the death centers, but he's in all the drop trouble. In comes the team. Sneaky comes around. Gets himself another. He's gonna keep on going. Death falls down. He goes down. Sneaky. Meteor gets away. Leaps to safety. And oh. 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 Balls in the back. Almost there. He's Penta. Falling into Acorn. He's burning for that. Later. Old static shift. The gauntlet buff returned in 2017 for Sneaky Zaya in game four against CLG. You cannot stop C9 from making worlds. CLG would have to face check into this, but they're looking for a play in the mid lane. Oh, they got Jensen, Jensen, 6 a with a shutdown. Yo, and show me, Sneaky. Show me, Sneaky. Show me. Show me your power. Sneaky still trying to back out of the way. Does get damage worse, Sneaky. He's trying to save the back end of the fight smoothie with the shields again. He's trying to go for my turn. Lands in. Lock up down. They need to save Sneaky. Sneaky finally pulls the feathers oh. back. But Sneaky they got another kill. Oh. Impact finally dropping. Oh. Sneaky oh. not doing so much oh. work. Sneaky they also making plays bad. Oh! 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 Sneaky, able to get the kill. Now Afro gonna get chased down. I think he's dead. Hanging around a team fight with sub 40% health. For most of the fight, Sneaky dances around for another cleanup crew and even manages to live to tell the tale thanks to a slick flash. Let me see. Let me see. Jensen's been caught though, but they're actually knocking around. He gets the ulti onto himself, and Meteor's gonna try and trip Perry in a part. Sneaky pops the ultimate, but it's not quite enough for Zig. Wow, that rumble he did the most limp damage ever. Able to take him down, and Impact's fighting Inori with now Gate on the side as well. He's got a bomb on his head, diving back in. Onto it, gets him a double kill. Does Sneaky as Gate gonna get locked up by the deadly Oh, the oh my God, Mash! No, Mash! You crazy man! Sneaky gets himself a triple kill as it all settles. And Piri is the only one left. There's the quadrant. and Sneaky gonna get another penta. He does, and Sneaky picks up a penta kill. Double Lift may have the Ezreal Penta at 2013 All Stars, kill. but another NA80 carry has a pretty darn impressive play around the Baron Pit, and this one was against China. In the hype videos for Let's check these NA uh, All Stars teams, okay? 957, MLXG, Shie, Uzi, Mako, Hauntzer, Mike Young, Bjergsen, Sneaky Afro. What the? For All Star, Ooh. it's Elder Dragon Steals. It's Mike Baron Young? Steals. Sneaky has to do it again. Big first. I remember when Mike Young was the most hyped jungler in LCS. That was so short-lived. Holy fuck. Some damage down onto the Chinese squad. Curtain calls being They're all up Mike against the yeah, wall. Haunts are, Haunts is timed down. The oh. Oh. There's a deadly flourish. Haunts goes down. Barrett okay. now enlisted. North America is oh. knocked out by Barrett. Double kill Sneaking for Sneaky. He's going in. Barrett's flashed away from Sneaky. Oh. That's a triple. That's a triple. That's a quadra. No penta. She is running for his life. Sneaky, where's the penta kill, man? The most impressive AD carry plays are usually the insanely aggressive ones that mere mortals on the rift would assume is a suicide mission. Sneaky saw things a little bit differently against Dignitas. Against the mighty Dignitas? He's gonna try it. They're going back and forth with the new new flashing gauge. They're going for the knockback, but Adrian. Holy shit, melee mode. Let's go. Sneaky, that was true. Knocks him back. He makes it happen. Adrian one hit away from death. The top has three kills. Absolute perfection from Sneaky. How is he still alive? Are you kidding me, Sneaky? Are you kidding me? MVP material right there for Sneaky. In such a pivotal moment of the game, he makes the biggest of plays, and this will mean. <laughs> Sneaky literally jumped through all the Talia rocks and almost got one shot. Are you kidding me, Sneaky? Are you? Let's check. Let's check out his damage. Boom! Oh, oh shit! Material right there for Sneaky. That was actually banger as fuck. Moment of the game, he makes the biggest. That was banger as far. 